Hey, just a quick video on how to use the permanent match. So this is what you'll receive in the set. You'll get the permanent matches, the spare wicks, and the instructions. So this is the type of lighter fluid you'll need to purchase separately. It's a light petroleum distillate lighter fluid. You can find it at most gas stations, department stores in the camping section, or online for about two to four dollars. Do not use charcoal lighter fluid or other lighter fluids. They won't work very well or not at all. So first you'll need to unscrew the match. Just be careful as you do so to not damage the threads. So the match is made of metal and the container is plastic. When you get the permanent match you'll notice there's some black protective coating um, on the steel rod. So that's pretty easy to remove. Just unscrew one of the matches and start striking. So to strike you put the flat end of the flint striker at a 45 degree angle on the top of the steel rod. Apply some pressure and strike downwards. So it's important to practice striking so you can get a spark with each strike. So to fill the match with lighter fluid just open it up, turn the lighter fluid upside down and slowly drip fuel into the container. You might get a bubble at the top if you do just just blow it, pop it and continue filling. So only fill it till it's about three quarters full and you'll start to see a level of the fuel down in there it looks like I need some more in there. Okay, I mean, I can see it, but it's probably hard to see on camera. Wipe the excess fuel away. And then you can screw the match. So if you fill it more than three quarters full, when you screw the match down, it will overflow. Um, and as you can see, if you get it tight, um, it's airtight, and no fuel will leak out or evaporate. All right, the fun part. So to create a flame, hold the container steady to prevent fuel from spilling out, and strike the match, and you will get a flame. So only let it burn for about five seconds, and then blow it out. At that point, all you need to do, soak it in more fuel, strike again. Here we go. So if the top does catch on fire, it's a small flame, just blow it out. So with practice, you can get a flame just about every strike. So if the wick burns down, as you can see, there we go. Just use needle nose pliers. A little bit harder to do on camera, but you can pull out some more wick, there we go, on each side, and as you can see, there's about that much wick on each side of the flint striker. So the last thing, this how-to video, is how to replace the wick completely. So you take needle nose pliers again. You're going to pull out the flint striker. There we go. It came out. So pull out the old wick. And then you take the new wick as it's folded in half. Put it in. All right, I had to pause the video to get this close. So anyways, Got it about this far. I'm going to put in the flint striker. Just press it in. As you can see, um, this end was frayed a little bit. So I'm just going to take some scissors. Just cut off those ends right there. It's pretty rare that you'd ever need to do this. 
If you're careful with the permanent match, you won't let the flame burn too long and it won't burn the wick. This is only after a lot of use that you'll need to replace the wick. So thanks for watching and enjoy the Survive Permanent Match.